Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you had the chance to catch my initial review of the Aritzia Golden Active Wear line, you know that I was super excited to try out the Butter, Power Sculpt, and Life fabrics. So after wearing them for a month straight, I'm back with a more in-depth review. In this video, I'll be sharing my experiences with these leggings, covering everything from comfort to fit to durability and performance during workouts and other daily activities. So whether you're considering adding these to your wardrobe or just curious about how they hold up over time, then this video is for you. But first, let's do a quick recap of my initial thoughts and first impressions from the try-on video, starting with the Butter New Cheeky Flare High Rise Legging. So this was actually my favorite legging to try on on while I was filming the first impressions video. And the main reason was because of its soft material. This legging is definitely the softest pair that I own and it was super comfortable, felt like second skin and was very, very lightweight. And in my opinion, I thought these leggings gave the most flattering fit um, in comparison to the Power Sculpt and the Life. Next up is the Power Sculpt Resilient Pant. To summarize my first impressions of these pants, immediately right away, I thought that it felt very stiff as I tried it on, but the material felt very lightweight. This one was my second favorite out of the three. And the last one is the Life Atmosphere Flare High Rise Legging. And right from the very beginning of the video, I thought this was going to be my least favorite, just because the material felt very thick, and I didn't think I'd like it as much before trying them on. I thought it was going to feel not as comfortable as the other leggings, but I ended up warming up to them after trying them on. And if I recall correctly, I liked that the material was in between the Power Sculpt and the Butter. Like it didn't feel necessarily super soft, but at the time I thought that it didn't feel as stiff as a Power Sculpt. So those were my initial impressions. Um, and I can confidently say that my thoughts and opinions of each of these pants have changed. Not so much the Butter Legging, but comparing between the Power Sculpt and Life Leggings was pretty surprising. So now that we've revisited my first impressions, let's see how these leggings held up after a month of wear. So just a quick note, I went to the gym three times a week, alternating between each legging, and also wore them for everyday wear. So let's start with the Butter Legging again. The comfort level of these leggings is very, very high. I found that these leggings are most ideal for lounging around and running errands thanks to their second skin feel, making them suitable for long periods of wear. So my current opinions of them now are not far off from my first initial impressions, which is good. But one thing that I noticed was the need to readjust occasionally. Like my biggest pet peeve with leggings in particular is having to readjust them frequently. For example, like after using the washroom or getting up from sitting to avoid camel toe. So with these leggings, I did have to readjust them a little bit, but this was very minor compared to other leggings that I've tried. This legging is great for gym workouts that don't require that much movement. So these are great for people who do yoga or who jog a lot. Although the fabric is incredibly soft and stretchy, it isn't very thick. So during certain movements at the gym, there were times where I felt a little paranoid that they were going to rip. And in terms of sweat wicking and breathability, they do a decent job at managing sweat. At the beginning, I was worried that my sweat stains were going to peek through these leggings because they are also a pretty light color. But so far that has never happened. And they are also very breathable, which adds to their comfort during workouts. Now let's quickly go over the durability of these leggings. So for fabric quality, I have washed these under 10 times or so. And on the website, it does say that you can machine wash them. And for drying, I almost always hang dry them. So far, there is no wear and tear fading or loose threads, which is good. And there's no major pilling, but I have a feeling that this will pill after a few more months of use. And I'll make sure to follow up on this hunch as well. For elasticity, they definitely have maintained their shape. Now let's talk about the comfort and fit for the Power Sculpt Resilient Pant. So this was very surprising, but this pant ended up being my favorite out of the three. After wearing them multiple times to the gym, I found them to be very, very comfortable. These are honestly perfect for anything and everything. So it's obviously great for the gym and running everyday errands thanks to its durable and lightweight material. One of the key reasons why I ended up liking these leggings way more 
more than the butter is that I never had to readjust them. This might be a little TMI, but I have to go to the washroom pretty often since I'm drinking a lot of water during my gym session. And when I've worn the butter or life leggings, it takes me almost twice as long to pull them up and make sure that I don't have a camel toe or anything after using the washroom, if you get what I mean. Whereas with the resilient pant, I have absolutely nothing to worry about when I quickly pull them up. And overall, they just stayed in place remarkably well throughout the entire day. In terms of performance, these are perfect for intense gym sessions as well as any other fitness related activities. The material is very durable so I don't get that paranoid feeling of them ripping like I do with the butter leggings and in my opinion these are the best in managing sweat and I was very impressed with how lightweight it is despite the fabric not feeling too thick and it's very very breathable way more breathable than the butter ones. In terms of sweat wicking and breathability these leggings do the best job out of all the leggings mentioned in this video. And honestly, I think it's just the best out of all the leggings I've ever tried in my life. And just like the butter leggings, I've washed these about like under 10 times. No wear and tear so far, fading or loose threads, no pilling at all. And I honestly don't really suspect pilling after a few months either. And just to confirm on their website, it does say that you can machine wash them. Now let's quickly go over the last legging, which is the Life Atmosphere Flare High rise lugging. So this one disappointed me the most, which is very unfortunate because I did have high hopes for these luggings as I was filming my first impressions video. So for comfort and fit, I would say the comfort level of these luggings is like medium. They're not the most comfortable lugging, but they're certainly not the least comfortable I've tried. And in my opinion, these luggings are best suited for like short-term wear over long-term. The material feels somewhat spongy, which is quite different from the butter and power sculpt fabrics. So I found myself having to readjust these luggings a lot throughout the day, especially during washroom breaks or after sitting down. And it ended up just feeling very uncomfortable during my workouts. And another thing that's super annoying about these leggings is that the waistband tended to fold down a lot, especially while sitting down, so I constantly had to keep rolling them up. So for performance, as mentioned, since I don't think it's great for long-term wear in general, I would only recommend wearing these leggings for shorter gym sessions. And the main reason is because the material is very thick and unfortunately not very breathable. I think the only major pro is how well they manage sweat. So even though the material is very thick and not very breathable, I'd say that the material is still sweat wicking. As for durability, I was very, very disappointed. You guys, after just one day of wearing it, I immediately noticed loose threading. And after washing them for the same amount of time as the other leggings, there was unfortunately already pilling. The only good thing about this fabric is that it has at least maintained their shape. <laughs> You can only imagine my reaction when I first discovered the pilling and loose threads after just getting these leggings. Let's finally talk about value for money. Are these leggings worth the price? So all of these leggings costed the exact same. If it wasn't obvious already, the Power Sculpt Resilient Pant is the best one and is worth the money in my opinion. Just like the name implies, it's clearly the most resilient and versatile pant. In my first impressions video, one of my subscribers mentioned that these pants would work really well in the office. I could definitely see that the straight pant fit and silhouette works really well for office wear. So I can imagine this pant working best for those who work a nine to five and who want to fit in a gym session at the end of the workday. You can easily style these pants for a professional setting and just swap out the shirt with a sports bra or a tank top you can just head straight to the gym so i just love how versatile they can be but if you have your eye on the butter flare legging i'd say go for it if you're looking for a super stretchy soft and flattering legging as mentioned previously out of all the leggings i think this one is the most flattering hands down and just a reminder this is my second favorite legging and it is holding up very well so far as for the life one definitely not worth it um especially Especially if you value comfort and breathability. I remember when I was initially filming the first impressions video, I really thought that it felt very durable. But to my surprise, this was the first lugging out of the three that already started pilling and has loose threads. So enough said. Let me know in the comments if any of you have tried Aritzia's active wear line and if your experience with the clothing was negative or positive. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or if you'd like to see more Aritzia related content.
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.